Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys what the arrow member selection operator does and when you should use it, but I was thinking and I was like, you know what, we haven't created a new class in a while and it actually would be kind of useful in this tutorial, so let's go ahead and start working with a new class. So just a refresher from, I don't know, I probably did this like 20 tutorials ago, in order to create a new class, press file, new class and then you go ahead and name your class anything you want I'm gonna name mine Sally and I don't think we covered destructors yet so let's go ahead and uncheck those and make sure we're working in the same directory as our main CPP so everything looks good um, go ahead and click create and of course it's gonna give you these two confirmation yeah of course I wanted to do both of those and now we got two new files a Sally header file and a Sally CPP file and remember the Sally header file is basically where we're going to be making all our prototypes and the Sally.cpp is where we're going to be doing the actual coding so in our main CPP we need to do a couple housekeeping things first go ahead and copy these and of course it's your IR stream and namespace and go ahead and copy it right in here and of course we need the Sally header oh, I forgot I always try to right click and select copy but there is no copy so anyways go ahead and get our Sally header and paste it in our main.cpp so basically the beginning of main CPP and Sally CPP should look pretty much the same so now a couple things I like to do actually the only thing I like to do is this go ahead and take out this comment because useless comments annoy me and uh, I guess I might as well go over this one more time NF def and define and end if all this means the stuff in green right here they put that there in every class they automatically build for you and it pretty much means don't include a header file if you don't need it this literally means if not defined Sally header file then define it so basically whenever you're running it in main CPP all these classes are going to have it in it's like if you already included Sally header file then don't include it again because you only need to include it once obviously so that's what all that means so now all my explaining we can finally get to the tutorial so in this tutorial the first thing we need to be able to do is I'm just gonna create a random stupid function in the Sally class so in order to do that let's go ahead and it's not gonna return anything so I'll just put void and then write your class name Sally and then we need that double colon operator and then print crap Oh, I'd already have my uh, my favorite function stored for me so basically we need this double colon operator again this is a reminder because without it it wouldn't know what function print crap belonged to so we're saying alright this belongs to the Sally class and uh, you know if we didn't have that then we would get an error so write your class name double colon and then your function name whenever you're building functions so print crap and all we're gonna have this do is see out um write something stupid like did someone say steak and end line so basically we have the Sally class and we have our constructor function which doesn't do anything and we have this function called print crap that pretty much prints crap out on the screen so now we can go ahead and prototype it and remember whenever you're prototyping in class go ahead and copy that and actually what we need to do is this don't even copy that just under your public write void print crap and that's all we have to do to prototype it we don't have to copy it because this Sally is basically telling this header file it belongs to the Sally class but whenever we're prototyping the class it already knows that of course we're working on the Sally class so that's why we don't write something like this Sally like that so you know just a nice little note to keep track of so now that we have basically a class made with one function in it I want to talk to you guys about what I'm going to teach you in this tutorial and that is the arrow member selection operator and that's this little dingy right there I'm saying what the heck is that what's it do what's the point of it well in order to explain to you guys what that does let's go ahead and first build a Sally object so Sally uh, make a Sally object called Sally object and we know with our Sally object then we can access the stuff inside the Sally class using Sally object using the dot and then go ahead and you know use whatever you want to use a variable or function or whatever so now when we go ahead and build and run this it says did someone say steak pretty cool huh 
So we know that these facts are true. In order to access stuff from the Sally class, we need to use a Sally object. And then we can use that by putting the object first, using a dot separator, and then writing whatever we want to access after it. So that is how we access stuff inside the Sally class. But now I want to teach you guys that there's a different way to access the stuff inside the Sally class. This is by making a pointer to the Sally object. So let's go ahead and see what I'm talking about. In order to make a pointer, you go ahead and write what type of data you're going to hold. I'm going to be holding Sally type of data because a class is actually a type of data that you create yourself. And now you go ahead and name your pointer using pointer, and I'm just going to name mine Sally pointer. And now we set it equal to the memory address of Sally object. So basically the Sally pointer is pointing to this object right here. Simple enough. So they're basically the same thing. I mean, I shouldn't even say that because a lot of people are going to be like, a pointer isn't the same thing as an object. But you know, they're basically the same thing. So now what we can do is we can use that pointer to access the stuff in the print crap class. I mean, <laughs> excuse me, the Sally class. So let's go ahead and put Sally pointer and you might be thinking alright so use the dot separator and then write print crap just like that and I'll try to run this it's gonna work fine but why am I getting an error message right here and that brings me to the point of this tutorial whenever you're using a pointer to access stuff inside a class you need to use something called the arrow member selection operator so again whenever you run this it's gonna work fine and dandy so this is accessing it with the object and this is accessing it with the pointer pretty cool huh so it's basically two different ways where you can access things inside a class um right now I just want to show you guys how to do it and then later on I'm going to show you guys when you would need to do it but not in this tutorial for this tutorial I just want to make sure you guys understand this information you have two different ways of accessing things inside of a class one way is to use an object and then you know the function name and another way is to use a pointer and then the function name or variable name whenever you use an object you use the dot separator whenever you use a pointer you use the arrow and that's actually pretty easy to remember because whenever you're using a pointer it kinda looks like a pointer so I mean it's not can't get easier to remember than that so that's all I want to teach you guys for this tutorial um, hopefully you understand the concept behind it you probably don't understand why you would use one versus the other but you will later on so for now just understand this and uh, don't forget to make sure that your uh, beginning of all your .cpp files are basically the same. So that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.